sustainable businesses. And this is why Booker T. Washington's concepts were so phenomenal. Booker T. Washington wanted a kid to get use his hands. He wanted him to be able to do things with his hands and his mind. Not needing anything else. Not needing any hand down. Not needing any hand out. When they gave him the land for Tuskegee, they only gave him the land. They didn't give him anything else. They didn't give him bricks to build the buildings with. So Booker T. Washington and his people learned how to make brick. They learned how to make brick so well that the white people that, that were construct contractors bought bricks from them. And they, so what he said was, we have got to be able to do something with our hands and make something that not only our people will buy, but everybody will buy. And that's what we are today. When we look at our communities, we see dilapidated houses everywhere we walk. Why is that? Why? Because our youth do not value working with the hands. Exactly. And so we have to change that. We have to change that. We have to change that. We cannot look for pie in the sky. We got to, you know, you got to make where you are beautiful first. That's exactly right. You got to make where you are beautiful. And if you make where you are beautiful, then God will give you something else to make beautiful. But you got to cherish and value and be thankful for what you have. Uh, Brother Daryl, how can other African Americans and other people who have a heart for what we're talking about, how can they support your effort uh, this year, this summer, this fall, to pursue your effort with the Painters Training Academy and with developing those resources to train and employ these youngsters here on the west side and throughout Chicago because this is a noble cause what you're doing here how can people help you? Well, I've created a shirt. It's a it's Black Wall Street Tulsa historical collection. It's an awesome piece. And what I want to do with that piece is I want to market it on the internet. However, so what would happen is this, son. You would buy two t-shirts. You would keep one for yourself. And the other you would pass on to a friend of yours that you wanted to give the knowledge of Black Wall Street to. When you give him the shirt, you give him the site, you give him the information on where to go and find out more about Black Wall Street. Once he does that and he gets it in his spirit, then he's going to buy two shirts. He's going to keep one and he's going to sell it, send the other to a friend that he wants to know about Black Wall Street. So you want the community to support your efforts on the Black Wall Street t-shirt that you're going to design. Oh, you designed it already. I have designed it already. It's an awesome piece. It's an awesome piece. Okay. It's an awesome piece. And what we want to do with that. Well, we're going to get a we're going to get a photo or another video uh, so we'll to to show the piece. Uh, we'll do that in, in the next few days, but uh, continue on. What we want to do with that is if I read an article last year recently that the economic